we end up hating each other? Well, there is a door to this flat, and all you have to do is open it and walk out again. Easy as that. Well, isn't it? Not in my experience, no. I'd love you to come, Ange, but I'm not trying to pressure you. If you don't want to, then I understand. I don't want to. Okay. But I will. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Great! Well, else I'll never know, will I? And there's so many things in my life that I don't know about because I decided not to take the risk. I'm not sure if I can afford another. <laughs> yes. Well, well, I'll start packing then. <laughs> Now I'll have to tell you. Tell me what? Well, you know how Chris is moving out today. Mm -hmm. I'm going with him. Best of luck. Meaning you think I'm stupid? As a matter of fact, I do, yeah. Well, I like to do stupid things. And in between them, I do even more stupid things. Went to Mexico once, remember? At least this time it won't be so far to come back. Well, I always knew there'd come a time when the pair of you'd spread your wings and fly the nest. At least, knowing you're together, I won't be worrying so much. Get along. She's not getting away with it. The agreement was I got the house, including the mortgage, and she got whatever savings we had. Well, she's obviously had second thoughts. I don't care what she's had. And I don't care what right she thinks she has over that house. What she doesn't have the right to do is humiliate me like that. Well, you always said she was unpredictable. Oh, she's a mad woman. Well, you've seen for yourself now. I mean, all right, suppose she has convinced herself that she's had a raw deal. Why doesn't she come and talk to me about it? Write to me, phone me. Oh, no. She has to sneak in and change the locks. Well, two can play at that game. I'm going to go back to that house, and then I'm going to break in. And then I'm going to do exactly what she's done. Change the locks, stick a note on the door saying, up yours. You're not serious. <laughs> you just watch me. Give me a couple of hours, we'll have you moved in like we should have been doing last night. Uh, yeah, but, uh, hang on. What? Well, you break in, change the locks, move me in. Yeah. And you fly off somewhere and I'm sat there waiting for this woman that you tell me is mad to turn up and start trying to smash her way in. Yes. No thanks. We can't let her dictate to us like that. Well, actually, I can, yes. Well, I'll do everything. I'm not asking you to climb in through any windows. Or no! I... Look at it from my point of view. If Linda's going to fight you for that house, it's the last place on earth I want to be. Fine then I will be humiliated. Well, don't be on my account. <laughs> I've lived through worse. At least I've still got this place. Chris wasn't due to move in till today, anyway. So what's going to happen? Well, this is just a temporary setback, isn't it? You're going to sell the house or whatever, and then we're going to try again, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. And Chris is just going to have to do the same as I'm doing and stop where he is for the time being. It's the fairest thing for her, Zoe. How do you work that out? Well, the longer she stays, the longer she'll have to get attached to little Katie. That can't be good for her, can it? The sooner she goes, the sooner she'll be able to forget about her. So we're doing all this for her sake, are we? No, I'm not saying that. But she's going to be leaving Katie with us anyway, isn't she? So we might as well get it over with. I think we should give it money today. And all right, we don't have to tell her to go straight away, but we can, well, you know, so that we understand if she wants to move on. OK. Well, this is what we agreed, Gary. If you don't want to do it, then say so. Well, I want to do it. Good. Of course I do. It's evil, though, isn't it? And what's that supposed to mean? I'm taking a baby away from his mother. She wants to do this as well. I know. How many were her who suggested it? I know. Yet? Don't stop it from being evil, though. And you know that as well as I do. So let's be honest with one another, shall we? Even if we can't be honest with anybody else as far as this is concerned, not if we'll live to be 100. See you then. Yeah, thanks, Des. Yeah, cheers, mate. No. Look, I'm sorry. Wait. You'll have to go back. Why? What's up? I'm not moving anymore. I can't. It's all had to be cancelled. Oh. But why? John's ex-wife has made a claim on the house and... Oh, I'm sorry. 
Are you buying that or what? I haven't decided yet. Well, I suppose it's an honest answer. Rita, <clears throat> you're not dashing off straight after we close, are you? No. Why? Well, there's something I want to talk to you about, only I don't want to do it with people in the shop. Oh. Oh, Lord, a sister's here now. You could have waited. Oh, can you lend us some money? I'll pay back next week. It's always the same. Yeah, well, you've got a job. I do say you buy one. Hello, Hi. Sally, love. I'm going to treat myself to a newspaper, I don't care. <laughs> you do right. Because you know what he's doing now, don't you? No. He's only gone on holiday to the Canaries. With his lady friend? Oh, he has to take her. She's the one who's paying. Well, shall I tell you something? I think he's the silliest man on this earth. I mean, when I look at you and I look at that trollop he's gone off with, mm. I think he's taken leave of his senses. Here, here. Thanks, but he can't be all that silly. He's the one who's going to be lying on a beach, isn't he? Shall I come across later and we'll have a real moan about him? <laughs> yeah, whenever you like, because I'm not going anywhere. Right. See you later. Bye. Right, now, come on, you. You've got me worried. What do you want to talk to me about? Later. Well, is it personal? Financial? No. <laughs> Beauty tips. You think this outfit clashes with some <gasps> supplements? Oh, These and 20 stickers. That are for me. Only she's paying. So, do you not get on, then? Never mind, didn't get on. We didn't get in. Deidre's gone back on a deal. Oh, be fair. It's only because she has to. Something's gone wrong with her boyfriend's house, so she can't move out. She can't move out. We can't move in. Yes, she can move out. What you mean to say is that she won't. She's refusing to. Can't, won't. The point is, she's stopping where she is. We can hardly go around and throw her out, can we? Hmm. So, what's happening, then? Moving back here, are you, the pair of you? No. No, that's okay. Oh, well, you can do what you like, but I'm not moving back in here, no way. Though I will leave my stuff in here, if that's all right, mate. Well, I don't mind at all. Where are you going? I've got to go out. I need to think. Clear my head. I feel so stupid. We walk out, we walk straight back in again. Yeah, well, don't <laughs> worry on my account. You're welcome back any time, whether it's one of you or both of you. Thanks, you've been really nice. Tell that to Samantha, will you? Oh, I suppose I'd better go after him. Stop him throwing bricks through Deirdre's window. <laughs> By the way, Zoe, me and Gary were talking earlier and we think we're all right with our visitor now. I mean, they've accepted that Gary's the father and, uh, well, they think that Kate has been well looked after. Don't you think, Gary? I do, yeah. So, what we thought were, rather than keep you hanging around, we'll give you the money, like we promised, and then you can take off whenever you like. I mean... You want to get on with the rest of your life, don't you? You don't want to be stuck here with us longer than necessary. Well, will I be able to come back and see you? Of course you can. Yeah. I mean, it is your... Of course you can. So, shall we do that then? Give you the money now? Gary. Oh, yeah. Right. Here we are, Zoe. Two thousand pound. All in twenties. So that means hundred of them. I know we've given you bits and pieces as we've gone along, but... Well, you've been so good, we thought we'd give you the whole £2,000 as a bit of a bonus for you. What are you going to do with it? That's Zoe's business. I know. Look after yourself, won't you? Don't go flashing it about. Well, she won't. She's smarter than that. So have you thought any more where you're going to go? Well, not really. I... I suppose I've got used to living here. And we've got used to having you, but... Well, the deal is... You know what the deal is. But I will be able to come back just sometimes and see you. Of course you will. Yeah. OK. Well, thanks. Right, now you, come on, talk to me. Well, I, I don't know how to say this. Uh, well, with, without making it sound ungrateful, but... Um, well, I've decided to hand me notice in. Do you know, I knew it was going to be that. I, I always thought I'd carry on till you decided to finish and then we could finish together, but... Oh, I've just had enough. And with Derek going, it, 
it's made me question a lot of things and I just feel it's time to go. I don't know what to say. I, I think um, I'm just, just young enough to try something else and, and not only that, but live somewhere else. Anywhere in particular? Yes, well, I've, I've always liked the Lake District, so uh, especially around the uh, the Cartmel area, so I, th I thought maybe I'd look there first. Yeah. But you're not thinking of looking for another job? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I mean, if I've got a spare room, well, I could probably offer a bed and breakfast. I wouldn't mind doing that as a sort of sideline. So I can always come and stop. got to promise me he'll do with that. So, after how many years? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Shoulder to shoulder, dishing out toffees, sinks, newspapers, cards. Yeah. The time's come. <laughs> I'd picture today as rather different. I know. Anyway, I'd better get going. I want to call in on Linda on the way to the airport, see if I can renegotiate her way back into my own house. Well, if you can't, promise me you'll come back here. You sure? Of course. In fact, I hope she's really awful to you. I hope she never lets you near that house again, then you'll have to come back here. You know, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. So when shall I expect you? Around midnight. Great. Hey, and you tell Linda we don't care what she's done. We're still going to move in together. It's just going to be here instead of at your house. OK. <laughs> Uh, pints and a dry white mm. wine, please. Sir. Ah, now then, a little bird tells me that you're holding your reception at the bell staff. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are. Ah, you did a right. You did a right to ignore the rumours. Innocent till proved guilty. Mind you, you'll have had that drummed into you, won't you? Well, if you had. Ignore him. He's just trying to scare us into having the reception here. Uh, you'll find us very competitive. No, we won't, because we won't even be asking. No, come on. All I'm saying is, she pushes that little baby about like it's her own. Well, who else is she going to push a baby about? Oh, you know what I mean, Matt. Yeah, but now, wait a minute. Have I got this right? The baby actually belongs to the girl who's living there. Yeah, she's got it dead right, right Ken. But why is she living there, huh? Oh, come on, Audrey. Don't get all coy on us now. What you're trying to say is, you think it's Gary's baby. Gary's baby? No, it's not really, Ken. This is just Audrey trying to get herself sued for life. Oh, Martin, don't be silly. Well... Anyway, I wonder if Samantha knows. Knows what? Uh, well, we were just saying... You were. No, sh You know that little baby uh, that Gary and Judy are looking after? Mm. Well, does anybody know who the father is? Mm. Well, I suppose the mother does, but I don't. Oh, no. come on, Samantha. You can tell us, honestly. It won't go any further. I don't know. And I'm not sure I want to know, anyway. Oh, no. Who'd like another drink? Oh, yeah. Go on, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Two pints, please, Alec. All right, you are. I'm not moving back into that house. No, well, it won't be moving back, will it? Because we never moved out. We tried, but we didn't quite make it. Well, mentally, I've moved out. Mentally, I don't live there anymore. So where mentally do you live? Anywhere I like. Oh, yeah. Look what I've got. <gasps> Where'd you get that from? From them. I told you just what they paid me for Katie. Hiya. Hi, me and Zoe are talking. It's stuff you're not old enough for. What sort of stuff? Just get lost, will you? Yeah, right. But don't ask me to lend you any money again. Don't worry, I won't. How much do you owe her? Twelve quid she owes me. Here. Right, now get lost. I said get lost! Thanks. Of course now they want rid of me. It's like, here's your money and when are you going? So when are you going? Hiya. Hiya. Glass of red, please, and, uh... Oh, I'll have a glass of red as well, please, love. Two of those, then, please. Hi. Hi. 
You, uh, may have noticed I'm still here. Oh, no shame in that. I'm here all the time. Uh, no, no, I mean, my move has had to be delayed. Apparently, his wife still has some claim on the house. What, one of those ex-husband and wife things? Yeah. Mm, very cool. Right, it's my round. Put that out for me, thanks. No, me neither, love. I'm off in a minute. Thanks, sweetheart. Oh, okay. My mum, I'm really close to. Mm -hmm. But my dad. Not so close to. Well, he used to compare me to my brother, who's like really brilliant and who's gonna like take over the world and stuff, whereas me, I was just this stupid, messy little kid. We've well, changed a bit since then. Mm. He was impressed when I took over the salon, though. I don't know, I just don't know about this meal. Thing is, you wanna know what the thing is? What? He never wanted to move in with me anyway. Oh, that's not true. And now Deidre's giving you the excuse you can go back and stay with Des, which is what you wanted to do anyway. I didn't, but I will do after this. Right, well, we'll both get what we want then, won't we? Hang on. So, we get there and his keys don't work and there's a note on the front door from his wife saying that she's changed the locks and put the house up for sale. No. Well, this morning he was all for ignoring her and breaking in, but I told him I don't want any part of that. Oh, you don't? So? back where I started. The only difference is he's having to move in with me because he can't get back in his house, can he? Oh, clever. <laughs> well, you have to be, haven't you? <laughs> oh, no, I did feel sorry for him, though. I mean, there he is trying to move me in and his ex-wife puts the kibosh on it. Hey, do you think that's why she did it? Because of you? Oh, I'm positive it is. I don't think he realises that, though. He thinks it's all to do with money. Oh, always do, don't they? Men. <laughs> Lovely. And she's like the father, is she? Whoever he is. Can I tell you something, Audrey? But you've got to promise you won't tell anyone. Of course I won't, no. Well, I think you've already guessed, haven't you? Who the father is. It's Gary. Oh. Now, don't breathe a word. Of course I won't, no. Do you know, I think you're very brave, Judy. So what happens now? I mean, the mother's going to go on living with you, is she? Well, we'll have to wait and see. We're going to take each day as it comes. You have to, don't you? I mean, there's no rule book for this sort of situation, is there? Right, well, let's get on. Don't let's keep her out yeah, too well. long. Bye-bye. Bye. Rita! Hi. Audrey, I'm sorry I didn't get to have that drink with you. What? Oh, no. About that. Rita, the things I could tell you. Well, I'm being told all sorts today. What's this about? No, well, I can't actually because I've promised, but you wouldn't believe it anyway. Oh. So, what happens when Kevin comes back? I'd have found somewhere else to live by then. So, stay here till you find somewhere else? No! He's got a camp out in the garage. And you're not going with him? No, I am not. Which, of course, proves his point, faulty logic, that I'm glad the move fell through because I never wanted to go in the first place. Hmm. And did you? I was willing to. I should think that's all that mattered. Yes, but when Deirdre said you couldn't... Oh, I don't know, you're as bad as him. One minute she's knocking on my door, practically begging for any crumbs that me and the kids can spare off our table, and the next minute they've got at Canaries for two weeks. <sighs> Makes you wonder, doesn't it? When I think how cautious Kevin used to be about everything. Mm. Like, I could never get any furniture on credit, never mind buy it. Couldn't even switch it round without having to talk about it for three days first. Well, I think she's the one pulling the strings, isn't she? Oh, I'm sure she is. Telling him when he can breathe and when he can't. Mm. Hey, I'll tell you what, Rita, it's made me wonder. A bit like that with me and Kevin. I mean, do folk used to say, oh, she's the one pulling the strings in that marriage? What, meaning that you That I so... dominated Kevin like we're now saying that she does. No. No, of course not, love, no. You're right, Rita, you seem a bit... I'm in. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just that I won't be able to stop long. It's um, something I've got to see to. And Nixon has to. Could you turn that uh, down? Just... She's just gone off. Just as went round corner. Oh, good. Do you want a cup of tea? Please. Oh, I best tell you. 
I told Audrey Roberts that you were the father. No, I know she'd been guessing. Yeah, well, she was guessing again, so I thought, right, lady. I swore her to silence and I said, yeah, you're right. Gary is the father. You swore Audrey Roberts to silence? Exactly. So she's going to tell everyone, isn't she? Which is what we want. Do we? Yeah, I suppose we do. It's not going to do my reputation much good, though, is it? Some of the women are going to want to lynch me. Yeah, well, they might at first. But then they'll think, no, because you're doing the right thing. You're facing up to your responsibilities. I hope we don't live to regret this. We will. Gary. Of course we will. It's frightening. I'm waking up in the night and I'm sweating over this. I am frightened, Jude. Well, you've no need to be. This is the worst part. Then Zoe will go and people get fed up talking about it. Then it'll be like she's just ours. What do you think? I know. Because it feels like that to me already. She's mine. Mine and yours. Hiya. Hi. I'm going out with Leanne tonight, it's all right, innit? Yeah. Uh, do you want some dinner? No, I'm all right, thanks. I'll get some later. Oh, and, um, you know we were talking about me going? Yeah. Well, um, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go tomorrow. Tomorrow? I think it's best that way. I don't have to keep seeing her. Well, do you want me to do some washing or ironing for you? No, I'm all right, thanks. Is it OK if I have a bath? Yeah, should be enough hot water. And neither of us even asked where she's going. Why? Because we don't care. Could be the next street, could be Timbuktu, anywhere. As long as she's out of here, we don't have to watch her sneaking a look at her own baby. It's my afternoon for visiting. I've done Sally, now I'm doing you. Well, I was half expecting you. You were? Yeah, I thought, well, either she'll come this afternoon or she didn't hear this afternoon, then she'll come this evening and ask me to go out for a drink and she'll try to persuade me to change my mind. Well, I'm not going to, Rita, not this time. Well, I'll tell you something, shall I? You're wrong. I'm not going to try and persuade you to change your mind, Mavis. For one thing, I don't think you should. I think it's like you said, you want to do something else with your life while you can. Well, yes. Only that got me thinking. That and what you said about you thought we'd finish up together. We still can. Why don't I pack it in as well? Sell off the whole shooting match and come and help you to run your B&B &B up in the lakes. Would you have me? Oh, 